How does MediaTek's Dimensity portfolio stand out and who are some of the brands that you're working with? So Dimensity, it's our brand for our 5G smartphone solutions. So again, we have four tiers of devices from our flagship Dimensity right. 9000 series, premium 8000 series, mid-range for the 7000 series, and then entry for the, the 6000 series. You know, of course, the performance level changes depending on the on the tier we're talking about. but. In general, I think we're very focused on delivering that high sustained performance experience for mm. the users. So it's always a balancing act of you know high performance and low power, right? That you're trying to trying right, to of deliver. Course. Beyond that, when you look into some of the segments, you know, uh, the Dimensity 9000 series, the 8000 series, we're now putting a lot of focus on on-chip generative AI capabilities. Oh, yes and running large language models and stable diffusion at the edge on those devices. Those are capabilities that our customers uh, are already taking advantage of in, in, in those tiers. I think more generally, maybe across all of the tiers, there's a heavy focus on gaming. Um, oh yeah. You know, not just graphics capability that's integrated onto the chip, but the overall user experience for gaming. Audio, connectivity, picture quality, display, Absolutely. refresh, all of those together. If there's gonna... a lag in a game or some kind of buffering that you're dealing with, that yeah. can really affect your, your overall experience. Yeah. And we focus on those all the way up and down our portfolio, even into our 4G Helio family mm -hmm. of G series devices, G for gaming. So that's a very important use case for a lot of people, I think, on mobile. And camera. I think we put a lot of oh, effort yeah. on integrating as high performance a camera capability and pipeline as we can, again, in all tiers, so that people people's photographs, cameras, video capability are, are the best they, they can be. In terms of the brands, I think we're pretty much shipping with almost all of the, the major brands that ship Android devices. So companies like Oppo, Vivo, Xiaomi, oh, uh, wow. Samsung, Nothing, Motorola. You know, for other markets, Techno, the Transion Group is a very big supplier as well. Mm. Um, again, we ship, we ship with all of those and thankfully they ship devices based on our products. <laughs> There's some awesome devices out there that run MediaTek chipsets. Yeah, so yes, of, very happy cool to ones. check them out. What is MediaTek's global market share? Uh, well, it sort of changes a little bit quarter to quarter, of mm -hmm. course, with, with natural market dynamics. But since the third quarter of 2020, so we're now coming up on like four years, we've maintained the number one overall market share position in wow. terms of volume of smartphone AP SOCs that we ship into the market. Congrats. So that's, yeah, that's a big milestone. And we've managed to maintain that position now, as I said, for, for four years. Recently, we've also taken the number one position in terms of the share of 5G SOCs, which of course is a, still a growing part of the market. Um, so consistent with the overall number one share, having the highest volume of 5G SOCs is also something we're, we're extremely proud of, and that's a milestone we achieved um, recently. Why is the mobile business so important to MediaTek? It's our largest business um, unit, business group, okay. um, reporting segment. Uh, you know, again, it, it fluctuates a little bit quarter to quarter, but generally it's over 50%, maybe closer to 55% of the overall revenue of the company. So. It's certainly important from a business scale right. pr perspective. But I think more importantly, it also drives a lot of our fundamental technology. Um, so for example, the scale we have allows us to move aggressively into the most advanced process technology, introducing three nanometer chipsets this year, for example. And then what we're finding is that the same architectures, the same technologies that we build, particularly for the flagship part of the mobile market, those perpetuate into other devices tablets, Chromebooks, or automotive solutions that can, can take advantage of those. Beyond that, of course, um, the mobile business also drives a lot of our core communications technology, mm. 4G, 5G, Wi-Fi, satellite connectivity, RedCap, etc. And those, of course, have applications in all different kinds of, of use cases and all different kinds of applications as well. So again, as sort of a core technology driver and yeah. a core IP driver for a whole host of other applications. They all benefit, I think, from that scale that we have in, in mobile. Can I ask you about how does MediaTek feel about like leveling the playing field for technology? Oh, I think that's been kind of an ethos or the driving DNA of the company right since our foundation, mm -hmm. right? Our our chairman, our founder, I think, strongly believes in, in that, right? And I think over the years we've seen, you know, through all of the generations, 2G feature phones, yeah. through 3G smartphones and 4G now into 5G, 
how access to this kind of technology, access to this kind of information, you know, access to capabilities that might not exist before, can truly transform people's lives all over the world, whether in education, business, agriculture, healthcare, whatever, right? And I think we've seen that through through all of the generations and I think it continues to be a important driving force for, for the company.